Welcome everyone to this presentation. We are going to be considering the use of concrete baluster just like this. We will also look at how we can actually download this uh, concrete baluster and then apply it to our Revit project. So this concrete baluster can be used in other Revit versions like version 2022, version 2023 and as well the lowest versions of Revit. Okay, so we'll be looking at that in this presentation. I'm so freezing. Stay tuned by subscribing and don't forget to like this presentation. Let us get started. So originally this is the railing I have. Okay, so if I select this railing right there and then you check in the project browser, right? You, you discover that if you click in this provisions, you have or other railing just like this, but this particular railing uh concrete uh, baluster railing is not here all right so we will bring it in here and then we'll be applying it to the structure if i should come to these provisions so here is the concrete baluster railing okay just like this so i will be taking us through on how you can actually import this to revit and make use of it successfully all right so let us just believe that we have not gotten this in revit and so Let's go to where we can be able to actually bring this to Revit and how we can actually apply it to a Revit project successfully. And this is Revit 2021 Tech Note. Alright, so let us proceed. So here is the concrete baluster. Okay, so uh, the link to download this is going to be in the description of this video. So once you click on it, you'll be able to download it, unzip it, and then you have something like this. Okay. So after which you just have to select it or double click on it so that it's going to launch it just like this. So when, once it comes up, you can see a, a dialog here, an upgrade dialog telling us to upgrade the model. Okay. Because this uh, particular uh, Revit family was actually made for the Revit 2009, as you can see there. So you can as well upgrade it to 2021, to 2022, 2023, and so on. All right, so you click on the upgrade. So once you click on the upgrade, once you have this uh, model upgrade dialog, so you have to wait until the upgrade is successful. So once the upgrade is successful, you now have it like this, the way you see it now. So now the upgrade is successful and it, it is being imported into Revit successfully, just like this, as you can see. All right, let me just change the change the graphic display, the construction color, so you can now see it just like this, just the way you. Ah, seeing it here all right so at this point now we want to be taking it to the project and then i will show us how you can apply this successfully but just as i've said earlier if uh, you want to get this download there's a link in the description of the video you can download it it is free all right you can get it free of charge all right through the link in the description of this video so for me to now apply this now to this project that is already having this uh, normal uh, uh, revit railing here okay i want to change this to the you know concrete baluster railing all right so i will come back over to these provisions and then i want to pick any of these you can if you check very well you notice that designs differs all right the designs differs this one is different different from this in terms of the designs okay but they look somehow alike so if i intend to use this one well right for my railing i will just get it alighted just like this right click or getting it alighted i come over to this provisions and then i'll select copy right there so after which i open the project you know in which i want to apply the railing and then i will have to paste it here all right so i click on paste over here and then i'll pick up positions or instruction points to place it just like this so after it's been placed like this, the next thing you need to do is uh, you type ma for match property on the keyboard or you come over here to where you have this match property click on it once and then you can now be able to select this so once you get this one selected just select this railing and you see it change you know, just like this okay it's been changed the same thing applicable to this all right so if you want to also apply it to this one you click on that to have the you know balustrade railing you know concrete balustrade railing apply successfully to your project just like this all right so this is how you can actually use concrete barista Railing on your project successfully. You can download it through the link in the description of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more advanced lessons of this kind. I'm so freezing. Thank you for watching and bye for now.